I grew up a believer in a Christian home, but growing up, I wasn't living for God to glorify Him. I was doing it for myself. I was very selfish and prideful, and I wanted people to know I was a Christian so that I could be known as that, not so God could be glorified through that. My junior and senior year of high school, I really started to feel lonely and that I didn't have a purpose in life. And instead of searching for that purpose in Christ, I turned to people of the world and things of this world. I struggled with substance abuse and I had really poor relationships with people. They weren't honoring to God and they weren't good, healthy relationships that would help build me up in Christ. They did the opposite and I chose to keep living in that lifestyle for a little while. When I moved to Chico, it was the end of 2020 and I used the lockdown as an excuse to just keep living in that sinful lifestyle and not really do anything to glorify God or to find any sort of purpose in my life. The beginning of 2021, I went to Chico Community Church for the first time and through Chico Community, I met Sarah Allen and I met with her and she shared the gospel with me. And when she shared the gospel with me, I knew what it was and I knew that God is forgiving and gracious, but I wasn't in a place where I wanted to live for Him. And I knew that I needed to repent and turn away from my sinful lifestyle, but I didn't want to do that. I wanted to keep living for myself and I didn't want to pursue relationship with Him. Sarah met up with me and there was a few months, the first few months when she was meeting with me that I wasn't pursuing a relationship with God and there was a lot of meetings that I tried to get out of and cancel, but she was just faithful in pursuing a discipleship relationship with me. And I'm very grateful for that because through Sarah continuing to meet with me, she helped show me what it was like to have a personal relationship with Christ. And I eventually got to the point where I realized that if I kept living for myself and if I kept living in a sinful lifestyle, that I wasn't ever going to have any purpose in my life. And I would just live the same way of waking up, just getting through the day and going back to bed just because, you know, I was alive and that's what I would do. So through meeting with me, Sarah showed me that I can have a purpose in living for Christ. And I wanted that purpose and I wanted to have good relationships and I wanted relationships to heal. And I realized that I couldn't do that apart from God. Toward the end of 2021, I decided to recommit my life to Christ. And through that, it was a process, but I realized how to have a personal relationship with Christ. I learned how to read my Bible in an applicable way. I learned how important scripture memory is and how important it is um, to just talk to God and to do life with God and incorporate Him into every single part of my life and not have Him just as a Sunday thing. Through my recommitment to Christ, my relationships with my family healed. I was able to overcome substance abuse through His power. And ultimately, I was able to have a relationship with Him. And He was able to show me that I can have a purpose and I do have a purpose in life and that I can have healthy, amazing relationships with people, um, with believers specifically, and how encouraging those relationships are. After I recommitted my life to Christ, I started going to challenge events regularly. And through attending regularly, I learned how important fellowship with other believers is and how important it is to have that community that will encourage me in my walk with God and support me and help build me up in Christ. And through Challenge, I have learned what it's like to have a personal relationship with Christ, that I can keep building that throughout the rest of my life and that I can use my life to help glorify Him. And I've learned how to share the gospel and how I can be encouraging to others and why it is so important to share the gospel. After I graduate from college, I'm not entirely sure what will be next is career-wise, um, but I know that no matter what career I'm in, no matter where God has me, that I can use that to glorify Him and to share the gospel with others. And 
that my purpose is to glorify Him and that I don't have to go through life feeling lost and with poor relationships, but that I will go through life with good, healthy relationships and I'll go through life with a sense of purpose and fulfillment because of my relationship with Christ.